Welcome back. I, I debated doing this video or not, and I, I wasn't completely sure if I wanted to. Um, but what I want to actually do is is talk about this Logan Paul situation, uh, suicide and media culture, uh, and maybe give I mean give some practical tips as to what in the world we could do about it. Although I'll tell you first and foremost, it will never happen. Uh, and the reason is the corporatocracists rule the world right now and anything they can do to make money, money is the ultimate thing most people are seeking. And the reality is you get a shocker like, you know, Logan Paul and, and the other guys like him. Um, they make a lot of money because they make a lot of views, because they make a lot of ruckus, and it really doesn't matter in the end. As long as you're not directly contributing to the death of somebody uh, in, a, in an acute way. In fact, acute cute is that key word. Uh, do you realize, for example, in, in the food industry, people ask this a lot of, you know, people who've studied this, and I have studied a lot of this stuff, is, you know, what about the artificial sugar sweeteners? Are these safe? There's no studies on them. Uh, no long-term studies on them, I should say. And, and the reason there's no long-term studies on them is because they're not mandated, and there's nothing positive you get out of it, and the only thing you could possibly find is a negative study, and if a negative study is reported, they need to pull it off the market. It costs a lot of money, and then if a bad result is uh, obtained, it costs the company even more, because they don't have to pull in the whole line. Well, a very similar thing happens in the rest of the world, and um, I wanted to mention this, uh, and, and the reason I finally ultimately did decide to do this is uh, is suicide has touched uh, my line in, in a couple of different ways, and um, I wanted to bring up a discussion of this and tell you that that uh, if, if this um, Logan Paul had any decency at all, he'd just quit what he's doing right now. Just quit. Just quit. At least take a several month break. Because he has the judgment of a fool. All right, and uh, I'm going to tell you that, um, you know, like a lot of people, uh, and there are a lot of people, and it's an increasing number of people more, you know, I've had potential suicidal issues in my past. And it was a couple decades back, you know, and uh, there were a lot of issues and circumstances surrounding all those times that I'm not going to bother getting into. Uh, and I don't need any any pity or thoughts or well wishes over it because, I mean, this is, we're talking 20 years in the past. Um, but 10 years in the past, there was a suicide in, in my family. And I know what happens in response to it. And, and here is this kid, and I'm not going to show any of his video at all. I don't care. I don't even really want to use the moron's name to be quite candid with you. Um, uh, and because if you watch the videos, and you probably have seen some of, some of them and some clips of them, you know, he walks through this forest where a lot of people commit suicide. Uh, and he's doing it in a very joking and very callous and very jovial way. And he is completely disrespectful. And, um, you know, th this is now, uh, I'm not as, as familiar with the Japanese culture. Um, but here in the United States, the num one of the number one places, in fact, I believe it is the number one place in the United States to commit suicide is the Golden Gate Bridge. And if you walk down the Golden Gate Bridge, you will see a lot of signs for suicide prevention. And, you know, this would be like him taking his cameras, walking down the Golden Gate Bridge, interviewing everybody that he sees, stopping and looking out over the bay and interviewing them and wondering if they're trying to kill themselves. And, hey, you want to go ahead and do it on camera so we can get some shock value? That's exactly what this guy was like. He had the judgment of a fool. And the even worse thing about it is so many millions of people subscribe to his channel and watch that fool act out. And he's paid a lot of money for it. That's a tragic thing. That's a very tragic thing. And I'll tell you what we need to do to clean up YouTube. And like I said, this wouldn't happen. <laughs> the first thing we need to do, YouTube needs to establish people and channels and circumstances who are brand safe and those that are not. Understand this. It's not entirely his fault. 
How is it that YouTube's algorithm puts his video, which absolutely 100% blatantly without any question, shadow of a doubt, violated YouTube terms, put it on the trending page, and every video I have uploaded in the last week has been demonetized. In the last week, I did a, new, uh, a year end in review cap. I talked about Elementary OS. I talked about Manjaro OS. And the ones before that weren't any different. Uh, the, the one video I did that, that I did not have any objection to them flagging at least was the, um, it was the, it was the, I think it was the tinfoil hat time because I had the word sexist and racist in the title. I'm not arguing that video at all. And I issued a, a, a um, review request and it was passed. Um, no big deal, because there was nothing objectable in the video. I do not swear on this channel. I don't have violent content. I don't do anything that violates YouTube's policies. And every video I upload gets demonetized. And this fool put, not only in his thumbnail, which we're told thumbnails are important, not only in his thumbnail, but the content of his video, a dead corpse got 6.5 million views. I don't know how many people flagged it, but I know a lot of people did. The video was even manually reviewed and kept on YouTube for shock value. This man treated suicide with the callousness that five-year-old treats a firecracker. Look at how cool this is. Total disrespect for the person. Total disrespect for the family. Total disrespect for the place. He is a fool. And if YouTube has any dignity at all, why are they not polling his content? Kevin Spacey has an alleged contact with somebody a decade or two ago which is bad. And all of a sudden, ooh, we can't have him in a TV program now. And Logan Paul, as a fool, displays a corpse of a dead body on YouTube for, in front of 6.5 million people, most of which are probably children, and you reward him with a big contract in his own YouTube Red series. I have educational, family-friendly videos. No vulgarity, no violation of terms, and you guys are flagging my stuff. And you put a top 10 trender on the front page of your thing, which violates every policy you have. It's called hypocrisy, YouTube. And what this channel needs to do is identify these people who are merely into shock value and completely demonetize them, bury them, put them behind pay contents, basically treat them like Philip DeFranco, put them behind the paywalls, put them behind can't be found, put them behind everything, because he has shown a disregard for your rules, your policies, and the mental well-being of 6.5 million potentially 80% more children by displaying a corpse. That is not funny. You don't watch his video and see a person going into a forest with respect or dignity. You see a fool, an idiot, a moron, and his little apology, it wasn't an apology at all. It was yet another way for him to do another video to get just as many views. So one of the things is that we as people, we need to stop it. I accidentally landed on a video because I was researching this situation today and I had stepped out of the room, a video had ended, and wouldn't you know, a Logan Paul video shows up next in the algorithm. 
So I promptly downvoted that stupid thing and left. And that's what we need to do. Downvote it, leave less than a second if you land on it at all. And I encourage you, if you are on that guy's channel, unsub yourself. And let YouTube know you won't watch anything with his stuff. You won't watch a video with him. Because he is spitting all over YouTube policies and he's making us as content creators look bad. And he is damaging us. He needs to step away for a while. He needs to take a little break. And maybe, just maybe, if he can come back with some dignity of a reasonable human being, he can come back. As he said in his video, I believe I've never seen a dead body. Maybe, young man, you should take the advice of Charles Sykes. Say, if you think life is all about fun, you have not seen one of your peers at room temperature lately. I've had best friends kill themselves. I've had family members kill themselves. And I myself almost succumbed to that. It is not funny. It is destructive. And to see the families fall apart. And what do you do? You take your whole video crew into a forest. And cut it up, laughing it up, smiling at the remorse of a dead body in front of you. Going, I've never seen a dead body before. Why don't you go volunteer at a morgue if you want to see a dead body? Why don't you be the one responsible to go tell a family member somebody has died? And YouTube, whoever... Flash, show, saw that video and passed that, fire them immediately. And I would highly encourage you, YouTube, demonetize, hide, and bury his content. Because there is he does not add value to this world. Not a bit of it. And you treat him like a golden boy. Because you know he's good for some views. And you guys need to have some self-respect among yourselves. Absolutely. Absolutely. Get that kid off the trending page. Bury his content behind age walls like you do with other people who are actually providing reasonable content. Make it hard for him to find things because he has demonstrated he doesn't care what your rules are. Maybe you do that kind of stuff. Advertisers will realize they'll take it serious. Why don't you publish some some regulations as to what you want on your videos and stick to them. That would be a good thing. And get these idiots off the front page if all if they don't do anything but add shock value. It's good for some views. But it's not really good for the channel. It's not good for the community. And I, I am ashamed to call myself a YouTuber when the other people that hold themselves up in the similar light are the likes of that man who films dead bodies and puts them on your channel. But you know what the reality is? I'm proud to say I'm a YouTuber and that I do make some of my income doing this and I'd like to make more. But you know what? I want to do it through a family-friendly manner. I don't want to do it by doing some shock value that causes damage to people. And I got news for you guys. You come and watch some of my live streams, my own community will police each other. Somebody comes in and drops in a bad word, my community will correct them before I even know it's there. Because I want family-friendly content. I want content where people can know they can come and even if I'm doing some crazy off the wall thing, I want them to know I'm still not going to be cussing up a storm. You know how many videos I see that have excessive swearing and are still monetized? You know that is against the policies YouTube? Maybe y'all should look into that a little bit more. Maybe if you guys took seriously your guidelines those of us that actually play by the rules wouldn't be on these demonetization. And maybe you should establish a list of people who are safe because, yeah, 
funny. Every single video this guy has flagged that we reviewed is safe. Maybe he's a safe content guy. But the guy that films dead bodies hanging in a forest probably shouldn't be on your safe content list, probably shouldn't be on your trending page, and probably shouldn't be in your self-produced videos. Kevin Spacey had an accident 25 years ago. He's removed from Netflix. You guys want to monetize some idiot who fills a body three days ago. In all reality. In all reality. And by the way, I probably agree with removing Kevin Spacey from that position. I remove, I agree with removing all these people from these positions if they've utilized and abused their power to, to hurt or injure somebody. But one of your golden boys who you YouTube are putting in YouTube red videos, in series, on your trending page, potentially cause psychological harm to millions of children through your platform. That is a travesty. And if Logan Paul, you had any self-respect, you'd step aside from this career for a while until you could go figure out decency. Maybe until someone you love is horizontal and room temperature. Maybe when you've had a best friend that has killed themselves, you won't be jovially walking through a suicide forest all happy about it. Maybe when you lose family members to suicide and see the consequence, you will have some dignity for people who are struggling and suffering. And us, the rest of us, you check your subscriber list. And if you are subscribed to any of these goofballs who behave indecently like this guy, I implore you, unsub from that crap. And don't watch their videos again. Just garbage. It's just garbage. And I'll tell you. I am interested in YouTube cleaning up. I am interested in, in that. But it's going to take a whole lot better than what they're doing. But frankly, it wouldn't be all that hard. I don't really know how to end a video like this. And I didn't plan anything big, and I wrote down four talking points, and I think I've crossed them all. The bottom line is, I, I really chose to, to do this because there is some suicide in my past. Um, both my, in fact, my, my best friend in high school killed himself. A good friend of mine that I worked with for a couple years killed himself. Um, my mother's husband killed himself. I came pretty close 20 years ago. There's nothing funny about any of those situations. There's nothing funny about the feeling that you have when you consider that that might be a possibility for your future. And there's not a lot worse than trying to pick up the pieces of broken friends and broken families when a person that you love dies. And we need to treat places like this forest, the base of, of, the, of Fuji Mountain and and the Golden Gate Bridge and, and the other places around this world, we need to treat these with more respect and more decency. And we need to treat people with more respect and more decency. And that means we're not cussing up a storm. That means we're not breaking these policies that say things like, you know, no corpses or sheer violence on our platform. You know what, YouTube? If you take your thing seriously, you know the guy produced a, a video. You completely deleted Eli the Computer Guy's channel once for nothing. Why don't you just go ahead and suspend his channel for six weeks? That'd be a neat thing to do. Suspend that guy's channel for six weeks for displaying a dead corpse on his videos and displaying that in front of 6.5 million people around this country in one day. Suspend his channel because clearly no him or anybody on his production team do not have any sense of decency. How can you possibly trust they won't do that some more? Suspend his channel for six weeks. Just delete it. Six weeks. Can't see his videos. Can't see his archives. 
He can't upload. Nothing. Give him a six-week vacation. Maybe it'll give him some humility. YouTube, if you're serious about cleaning things up, get serious about cleaning things up. Ask yourself, is it about views? Or is it about helping people? That's my thoughts. So thanks for uh, watching this kind of rambly, long, crazy video. But uh, I just really, I, I felt I, I had something to say in that manner. And uh, and that's been a source of frustration uh, as I've looked over this. And so yeah, thanks for watching, folks. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that. I encourage you to do those things, though. If you find yourself subbed to him, his brother, any of these guys that are just out into these pranks, unsub their channels, stop watching their stuff. That's the best we can do. Walk away. Just walk away. Vote with your feet. In this case, vote with your eyeballs. Stop watching this stuff. And encourage other people to unsub and stop watching their stuff. That's what I encourage you to do. If you find yourself accidentally on a video, thumbs down it and leave right away. That'll hurt us out. His <laughs> statistics, analytics. <sighs> Thanks for watching, folks. Have yourselves a wonderful evening. And uh, as many other people have said, if, if uh, you are struggling with, with these thoughts yourself, go talk to someone. There's a lot of people that love you. If you don't know who to talk to, there's some hotlines. I'm not going to list the numbers here. I don't have them in front of me. Contact a church. Contact a family member. If you're that desperate, call 911. That's it. Seek the help that you need. Because there's a lot of pieces that need to get picked up if you decide to end it early. It's not worth it. Not worth it at all. There is there is a, a glorious light at the end of the tunnel, and it is not an oncoming train. I encourage you to just get some help. So thanks for watching.